Hey guys, today we'll be looking at some control arms. Over here I have a steel set from an early 944 and here's an aluminum set from a later 944. Now, both of these are early offset so we'll be looking at the differences between them also discussing some of their strengths and weaknesses. So over here we have the steel control arms. These were used on the early 944s up until they switched to aluminum in 85 and a half. They're made up of two steel plates of about three millimeter thick steel and spot welded together. The benefit of these arms is that in an accident they tend to bend instead of break like the aluminum arms. They also have easily removable ball joints. The weakness is these tend to flex under load. So many racers often box them in and do other things to make them a bit stronger. So over here we have the aluminum control arms. These came on cars manufactured after 85 and a half. Now the benefit to swapping in aluminum control arms is that they're a little bit more rigid than the steel arms and that they also have an adjustable caster. However, they do not have easily removable ball joints and these have to be rebuilt when they fail. Other issues include these cracking and breaking under high stress and in accidents. So I'm always hearing things like, well, Porsche switched to the aluminum arms because they're lighter, or they switched to the aluminum arms because they're stronger. Well, the truth is, there was a big reason for Porsche to switch to the aluminum arms. However, it really wasn't either one of those things. So you may have noticed my scale here. Let me go ahead and turn it on. And uh, I'll put this uh, steel arm on here. Now I want you to notice that I'm weighing it with all the bushings so we have a good representation of its weight. And here it is, 6.22 pounds. All right, so let me get this off here. And it's gone back to zero. And let me put this aluminum arm on here. It's also being weighed with all its bushings and everything, so that way we get a nice accurate weight. And we have 6.65 pounds for it. So it's nearly a half a pound more than the steel arm. So it turns out that the aluminum control arm is actually about a half pound more than its steel counterpart. And by the time you're done with the swap, you'll be adding about a pound of unsprung weight. So if the aluminum arm isn't lighter, they cost more to produce and they tend to break in accidents. Why did Porsche move away from the steel arm? Well, there's actually a very simple explanation for that. It turns out aluminum is very dense and it can actually isolate and absorb a lot of road noise and vibrations that you would otherwise hear if you had steel control arms. So it would appear that Porsche felt it was worth the extra weight and cost to move to aluminum arms for a smoother, quieter ride. So let me know which control arms you prefer in the comments below. And until next time, guys.